Hey, hi, what's going on guys? Welcome to part 8 on creating mobile web applications using jQuery mobile. So guys, we're gonna continue from where we left last time. But before that, I want you guys to make a very little change to one of our JS files. So guys, uh, I believe you guys won't be able to click this particular link out here which says add survey. And if like uh, if you're gonna click on it, it's not gonna show you anything. Now guys, there is a reason behind that. Uh, if I'm gonna go to my js folder and if I'm gonna open my login.js file out here we are using a jQuery mobile change page function and guys uh, like uh, I've been on Stack Overflow and I came to know about it that the change page function will discard everything that is outside a data role called page so let me explain it to you guys uh, out here on our index.php file we have a div where it says a data role to call page and that particular div is ending out here and our dialog box is outside this particular data role so that is the reason every time we are using the change page function it's not even recognizing anything outside this particular div like the very first one so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove that particular function and we're gonna use the default JavaScript function called window.location equals to the file name where we want to redirect the user okay once you're gonna do that just refresh your page relog in again and you're gonna notice these like this particular link will start working once again so if I'm gonna click on it it's gonna show me the dialog box from where I can create a survey okay guys so what we did last time was we actually you know added the jQuery validation to us so if I'm gonna click on add survey here it says select whether shop has been inspected or not so if I'm gonna say yes okay here it's gonna say select whether issues have been found or not so I'm gonna say yes for that either and if I'm gonna say add survey, it's gonna you know ask me to enter some notes. So <clears throat> with that done, guys, now we're gonna add you know the PHP code to it so that we can finally save these surveys to our uh, the actual table. I would say. So here I'm gonna create a new table, and uh, I'm gonna name it to surveys right here. Uh, I'm gonna add let's say five more fields to it. Uh, the very first one gonna be an ID the second one gonna be uh, I would say uh, shop inspected like here or you know what let's do one thing first go to the core directory inside it we created a file called class dot we're gonna open that file and we're gonna you know copy the names from here so come back here I'm gonna say inspected here it says issues so I'm gonna paste that to issues here uh, it's comments so I'm gonna paste it to comments so after comments we are gonna have uh, something called an IP address like from the place where they actually you know uh, I would say uh, they actually you know done this particular survey uh, I'm gonna say a date so here we're gonna be a date and finally we're gonna have time so guys so here I'm gonna say you know a war chart to let's say 44 time and here I'm gonna say a war chart 44 date now guys if you want you can use the default you know date time mysql function but I'm not gonna do that you know I'm gonna decide which particular time zone to use or whatever with my PHP then I'm gonna you know send a date and I'm gonna save it as a war chart not as a date time stuff so here I'm gonna say a war chart to 24 IP address for comments let's say a text area uh, for issues let's say a war chart to 20 because it's only gonna be yes or no so 20 is more than enough uh, for inspected we're gonna have 20 again and finally we're gonna make the RD an auto increment that means it's gonna you know increase by itself every time we're gonna you know insert an entry to it and we're gonna make it a primary key that's like uh, we that means we are not duplicating it so here I'm gonna say save so with that done next thing we need to do is we need to create a file inside our lips directory called uh, insert story I uh, believe you already have it here uh, okay I'm not sure I might have created it by mistake so I'm gonna you know take everything away from here now uh, guys you can create a new file you can name it to insert survey.php okay <clears throat> and here we first oh, we need to include our class file okay so I'm gonna say one folder down go to core and look for the file called class.managesurvey.php okay uh, here I'm gonna say survey in it like we're gonna create an instance of our class here I'm gonna say new manage survey okay, manage survey like this 
Uh, with that done, next thing needs to be inside the JS folder and the file called AdServer.js. Now, guys, now what we're gonna do is, you know, every time we are submitting a form, uh, we actually gonna, you know, make an AJAX request to this particular file, and we're gonna insert everything to our database. So, let's do it quickly out here. Uh, here, I'm gonna say a dollar dot post. Like we're gonna make a post request to the file called libs slash insert survey. Okay, like here, insert survey.php. Uh, for the data, I'm gonna say it's gonna be dollar form dot serialize. Like it's it gonna get everything from our form. So here, I'm gonna say dollar form dot serialize, and then we're gonna you know run a callback function called response. And here, I'm gonna say if response is equals to equals to true, like that means we are able to you know. Uh, insert everything to the database. So I'm gonna, you know, uh, show a success message to the user. I'm gonna say show success. Uh, survey, survey added successfully, like this. Okay, that's all we need to do. And here I'm gonna say show error. And here I'm gonna say, uh, you know, the actual response we got from the server. So I believe, guys, that's all we need to do let's go ahead and test it out whether it's working for us or not. so uh, I'm gonna make a page refresh very first I'm gonna open the ad server dialog box here and I'm gonna say shop inspecting let's say yes issues found let's say no um, let's open the console no there is no Ajax request let me check out why so issues found you know, let's say that its length is equal to zero. Then do all this. So that's fine. Uh, I believe here we need to have an else statement either. So I have to just return to that. Let, let me tell you guys why. Uh, very first, what I'm saying is, if issues have been found, then only we're gonna re run this particular if statement. So in our case, issues found is equal to no. So that means we are not gonna run this particular if statement. And in that case, this function not gonna return anything. So that's why we're gonna you know let this function know, you know, if the if clause is not working, you know, just return it to true. I believe now we can try it one more time and let's see if it works for us. So one more try here. I'm gonna say shop inspected. Yes, issues found no. It was a nice shot. So finally, I'm gonna say add survey awesome. Now guys, you will notice there is there is a request to the server. So I'm gonna increase the console size here it is class manage database not found on class manage survey dot php so here is our class called manage survey we have not included our database file that's the problem so that's what I'm gonna do right now here I'm gonna say include once class dot database dot php that's all we need to do and guys if you will notice what exactly happening is there are like we are sending two requests to the server though we only want to send one so we're gonna solve that either. Uh, I believe that's gonna be the problem because we have this particular file out here to the bottom. So I'm gonna, you know, keep it out here inside the head section. Now I believe everything's gonna work. So one more try finally, guys. Uh, here I'm gonna say yes. Let's say issues found to no again. And finally we have one request. And there is no response from the server. server. That's fine because we have not you know done anything there and uh, there is nothing inside post either so that's something we need to worry about so if I'll go here to the bottom we have a form and we have a form ending here okay that's fine uh, where's my ad survey file here it says on the top dollar form dot serializes a function so again my bad a lot of errors today so one last try I believe come back say no again and let's see oh finally we are sending so it says you know add survey what is this okay that that actually gonna be the but like like the button link so don't worry about it the comments like we are not sending any comments issues found no shop inspected yes that the user who actually you know made this particular survey was my username like the one I'm using to log in so I believe guys that's all we need uh, for this particular thing very first I'm gonna you know take away this console stuff otherwise you know uh, it's gonna you know keep us showing 
does all stuff out here on the top. So I'm gonna you know take away that console command from there. Clear it. Uh, I'm gonna you know minimize the console or probably firebug. Uh, guys, next thing we need to do is we need to run this particular function called add survey. So I'm gonna copy it like this. Uh, here I'm gonna say dollar add survey. Okay, like we're gonna create a very simple variable that gonna you know uh, contain the value returned by this particular function out here. Okay, so here I'm gonna say dollar survey in it. Survey in it. And that's gonna be add survey. Now all we need to do is if dollar post, like we're gonna do all like everything if only there is a post request. So if dollar post, uh, the username gonna be the actual username from the post request. Or if you want, we can you know grab it from our session file. But okay, let's keep it from the Ajax request only. The inspected gonna be so I'm gonna say dollar inspected. Uh, I'm not even sure. Give me a second, guys. Shop inspected. So here I'm gonna say dollar post shop inspected. Then after uh, I'm gonna have issues gonna be equal to dollar post. Again, I'm gonna copy it from this particular file called issues found like this uh, then for the comments uh, I'm gonna say it will be equals to dollar underscore post comments okay and for the IP address uh, we have a very you know good function out here on the tutelage.com so that what I'm gonna do here uh, like this here I'm gonna say tutelage.com inside the snippets I've created a very nice function they're gonna give you the actual IP address no matter what whether the user is behind a proxy or okay guys so uh, here we are you can actually you know go to the snippets link out here and just go to the PHP section here it's gonna you know uh, we need to search okay here it says how to get your user real IP address using PHP so I have created a really nice function out here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna copy it from here okay and out here on the top I'm gonna you know paste this particular function uh, just gonna format it so keep it like this here I'm gonna say IP address to this particular function called get user IP okay and then I'm gonna have your know, date to like date here Y and an M and MT like this is a PHP envel function in order to get the current date for the time here I'm gonna say time to H I S okay so that's gonna solve our problem here and guys here I'm gonna say if dollar at survey like if you're able to make an entry uh, is equal to equals to one then here I'm gonna echo true and if not I'm gonna you know let them know about the error so here I'm gonna say echo uh, there was an error adding your survey so like this so come back close the side here just refresh it one more time here I'm gonna say add survey for the shop inspected say yes this is like issues found I'm gonna say no or probably say yes this time and here I'm gonna say shop door is broken okay any scrub out here so here it says undefined index username okie dokie uh, let's come here here it says survey username not username that's my bad uh, let's check out whether we are if we have any entry here or not uh, no finally we don't so uh, here I'm gonna you know again I'm, I'm gonna leave everything to the way it is here it says there was an error adding your survey now what's the error we don't know about it let's check out what can be the error here so I'm gonna go back to the class here it says insert into okay guys here it says insert into survey and our table name is called surveys so that's my bad uh, I'm gonna try it one more time again it says the same thing let me check out there might be some problem with the query itself so username inspected issues comments IP address date time the value is gonna be one two three four five six seven and I believe they need to be six here if I'm not wrong yeah 
now. Oh, well, let me check out issues. This is user. Oh my gosh, you know, we don't have any field for username here, so that's one more mistake I did. So I'm gonna say, you know, insert one after ID. Uh, here I'm gonna say username like the actual user who took the survey so virtual 250 one more try guys oh finally here it says survey added successfully so here if I'm gonna go to surveys here it says my username inspected you know everything my IP address I'm doing it on my local host that's the reason it's giving 127 but if you're gonna you know try it on the actual live survey it's gonna give you the uh, internet IP address. So here it says the current date, the current time, and like the time uh, when we took the survey. If you want, you can change the time zone. All you need to do is make a Google search for PHP time zone list. Okay, you're gonna came to know how to change the time zones. And uh, I believe that's all from this particular video, guys. In the next video, we're gonna learn more about jQuery Mobile. We're gonna, you know, list everything to this particular index page. We're gonna add a search bar out here on the top, and we're gonna make use of a very nice. I would say pagination plugin. So I'm going to see you guys next time. Goodbye.